Hi, welcome back to the Hello Wichley Lifeboat Restoration Project. Hope you enjoyed the part one of the video of taking the drive shafts out and the prop shafts off, propellers off. Hope you liked the video of us taking the drive shafts and the prop propellers off. I'll get it right one day. <laughs> so in this video, what we're going to do, we've got Mark on doing the screws on the, uh, the um, external out casing. We've got Mark taking the external of stuffing gland out underneath the boat. Uh, we're going to be taking the stern tubes out and obviously the, all the bits and bobs underneath. So if you like this content, don't forget, click on the subscribe button, click on the notifications, give us a huge thumbs up, it all helps our channel. And let's get on with it. Right, we've just worked it out. That. Yeah, as I was saying, we just worked out that the, the prop shaft is held up by numerous bolts. Um, you see me. So we've got a couple in here to take out, and then we're going to enter this hold where we're going to take a few out. So. What we're going to do, we're not going to undo them. And then knock them through, hopefully. And we've got Ash on the other side. And he's going to say yes or no. So, because we're working with um, bronze screws and nut bolts and bolts. down hopefully not break them so it's not going to see a lot then so, well it's a bit squashed up in here as you can see so we've got oh sit down in the hole we've got these bolts let's see if we get in the back Can you see that turning, Ash? Huh? Get, 
Oh, so that's those bolts off down there. Oh, what a game. Oh. Hey, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what, where I've got to get to down here. Um, we've got a couple of the bolts to take off because of the P bracket, so I thought I'd do a little video with me trying to get down the hole. Oh, I can't So basically what I've done is just cut the, the end of the nut off, side of the nut off. And then what I want to do now is get my, uh, oh, I need some grips. Oh, oh what really? I need some grips somewhere. Um, oh, here we go. So hopefully that's released it, the tension of it, and then I should be able to. That's a bit better. Roll the generator interference on the Hertz. So I'll just do a quick video of this and hopefully I can turn the nut, okay? Oh. So. Yes, see that. But I'm ready to turn the nut. without turning the bolt behind. So I'm going to undo this, uh, and then we're going to got to undo the oil feed to the P-bracket, uh, undo that, and then that's the P-bracket off. So that's what I've got to do inside, in that sort of like, in that area. <laughs> so I might as just do a, a little one of me, because I like making videos today, of me undoing the knot. It's loosened up tremendously because I've just released the pressure on the outside. Um, I don't know if you can see that, the rust inside it. It's a bit flickery, the picture. Is it finger tight? Yeah, it is. So, this is how to remove the bolt that is spinning and can't get any force or clamp from the other side. So yes, we've got to get a new nut. Well, hopefully we can get out and then we can show you how I've sliced it and we've still got, yeah, look, we've still got the, uh, see, it was sliced so close, it's still got <laughs> indentation so that was bang on you couldn't have got a better cut than that and then 
and that's how I get off and very minimal, minimal damage to the thread. Yep, so right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to knock that through and uh, hopefully we'll go outside, I can get out of this hole and do the pee back here. So I've, I've knocked that bolt through. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I've got my drill. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to uh, undo the oil feed to it. So I just start it a bit, but I thought, oh. Now I go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, because it's a brass shaft that I'm getting out. I'm going to position me like that, so you can see what it's going on. How's that? And then get out of this hole! She's nearly out. She's nearly out. She's out. Okay. There we go, watch. Bit of lead powder. So that is it now, that's the pee bracket undone on, on port side. Um, so what we're going to do, we'll go outside and we hopefully should take the bracket out. So let's get out of this hole, I've tied up my tools first because we like to have a, a nice working environment, so uh, let's get on it. So right, we've undone the bolts, oh square the camera a bit actually, it's all the ones we've done. Uh, this, So we've undone the bolts on the T bracket, as you can see on the video that we've done. And what we're going to do now, we're going to, we're going to take off this P bracket. Now this P bracket is held together by the bolts on either side, and it's not held really onto the shaft tube. It's, it slides on like on a rubber seal. So on the back of it is a collar. You unscrew the collar. It releases the rubber. Well, actually, it isn't rubber. What is it, Mark? It's that rope. It? It's like a rope, like a fire rope. So it's like a fire rope with um, soaked in rinseed oil and um, putty. So we're going to undo that, and then this, this unit will just slide off. Hopefully, we don't fix it. <laughs> well, we shall see, shall we? I'm so the bolt out. Check that bolt out, Ash, and uh, we'll take the weight of it, and then we should be able to just uh, slide it off. So, as you take the bolt out, tap it away, tap, tap, tap. Yeah, we're out. Yeah. All right, do you want to get that rubber hammer mark and hit it out? Let's rub it out of there. Oh, we got a little mark, hit it out. Oh, you have to hit it all the way. Watch your finger. Right. You have to hit it all the way. Go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Move it, move it now. Now, try and hit it out. Try and hit it out. It'll take some it in, mate. It'll take some it. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Come on, please. Not moving yet. Come on, break that still, baby. Break it. Yes, yes. Come on. Yes. Go on. Yes. Yes. Go on. Yes. 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 That's the, that's the P bracket we moved. As you say, it was, it's only held on by the rubber seal there. It slides, it slides off the shaft. So that's quite, quite, quite straightforward. The next part isn't. So what we have to do now, we are gonna to have to remove this shaft. So we're gonna to have to undo the other collar on the stern gland, up a bit further up, push the shaft into the boat, I've got to find the locking key and get that off first. Yeah. Push oh. it into, into the boat and then undo the stuffing gland and then pull the tube out. So it's oh. quite a lengthy process. Also, yeah. remember to take the tube out what's there. Yeah. The stern gland. The it's got a big tube here. Tube there, which you see yeah. in the previous video. That's where it actually goes. That big bolt that I took out with the impact driver goes in there. Okay, so that long bolt I took out goes in here and there's an oil feed all the way down here and it feeds a couple of spare ends there. So it's quite an ingenious design. 
soon as the year it came out. Right, let's go um, a bit further on down, we'll see what Mark is doing while I'm doing the collar, we'll get down there. Um, and on the, the cottle pin as well, we need to check that out. It's like a cottle pin you'll, you'll see soon. So right, uh, where we are, we are underneath I'm going to show a bit of the uh, stone grant and what Mark's doing is taking off this locking, locking key locking key, which stops what about we told you about we have to take this collar off, spin it round, take the rope out there's uh, a locking key. pin there two screws which prevents this collar from spinning thus I'm doing when it's out in the water and then letting water in that way because that's the main seed of the boat so yeah so guys I have to remove these remove take everything. the key out clean all around the thread get some WD in there and then I've got to clean this side so this collar can move over as we undo it just makes things a lot more easier and then there's a big rope seal what Rick was telling you about it earlier in there it's wrapped round and round and round so we'll get that off remove that seal that rope seal and then that will be easier to move up and down the shaft but I've got to get rid of all this paint here first and I'll come back later on a video after I've done it just to show you okay guys so while he's doing that what I'm going to do, I'm going to go inside and we need to undo the, the bolts and nuts for the stern land on the internal side. Get all that prepped and ready so then we both can go and deal with the shaft. So let's get inside. So we're inside the stern of the hull of the boat and we've got the stern land here. So what we did, we took the, uh, the front off that was on there. Now, that has a rubber washer in there, but it's non existent, okay? So we house in there, which is that one. Okay, so as you can see, if I turn it, there's actually no rubber in there, so that's in this, you see it's bit, uh, So, that's the first seal, okay, so there's your stone gland, it goes like that, like the seal goes in, so that's your first seal. And then, what happens then, we've got a spacing ring, Second seal goes on behind to create a gap like that, and then that obviously goes in there. And there's another space in there again on the top. So that's how your stone gland's built. And it looks like that when it's disassembled. So, what we could do, we could take all these pieces. Uh, and get new seals ordered because uh, shot. So yeah, that's your stir gland. So that fits like that in there. Grease comes through in between these two things and packs up, packs up the shaft around and stops the water coming out. So that's that. We've taken that off. But. So what we're going to do now is undo the nuts here around the flange of the stern gland itself, the main body. This isn't just what you see here, it chews into the boat about five and three quarters of an inch. Um, so what we're going to have to do, undo this and pull this out do something else. So what I'll do, I'll move the camera over here, this way, and then you can see the direction that I'm doing. Watch me undo some bolts while Mark is underneath removing the screws. So I've got a three quarter inch spanner. Oh, I can see that's quite loose. So I'm 
to we'll just sort of do that like that. And see what we've done, we've taken off the flanges. It's really important when we're doing stuff like this to put the washer back on or the nut back on. And all of them see now where the which nuts are which for which and they never get lost. Fortunately for this side it was actually covered in grease. So uh, I don't think there's gonna be I don't think there's gonna be much corrosion on there. So we take the nut off and we take the spring washer. It's just like a locking nut really on today's standards. So this is this is why important to have a clean build. <laughs> we'll get your bits back. See, dropped it again. Now if your build was full of oil, you wouldn't be getting in that washer back, would you? Right, importance. So next one, let's have a look. Now this has got the earthing strap to stop electrolysis on the shafts and stuff. Uh, these are all interlinked together throughout the uh, ship. And you see it's just an earthy strap. Now what this is, it's connected to the starboard side and then it's connected to earthy plates all around the ship. Boat, vessel, lifeboat, whatever <laughs> you want a dicky bird call it. So we'll take the earthy strap off. That can be gone. And we'll just pop the uh, spring wash off, as you can see there. Just pop that off, like that. Put them up there, out of the way. And then we'll get to the next one, this side. Let's move around to position a bit. See, see it's got a lot of grease on it, hasn't it? See, because I haven't got a lot of room, what I'm doing, I'm turning this way that way, and then I'll turn my spell that way. To get the ball to go. So that's the little one nearly out. And there will be a spray washer to take off as well. There we go, a spring washer. And uh, what we'll do, uh, I'd like to show you the other side, but it's dark. So I'll move the camera back a bit early to see we take the rest off. So we'll get these other bolts done. One, two more to go. And then this will be off, ready to extract. 
and we have to have a look for that blood screw. And uh, I think, I don't even know if it would be uh, top dead centre, as usual. Well, you have to look for that because if you don't, you'll uh, never get it out. Never, never, never. I think I might need a bigger spider, a uh, smaller spider than three quarter. That's right. Now, for some reason, they use two sizes of nuts, but only on two. It was the same with that thread you saw. I don't know why that is. But it is. It is what it is. So if you're enjoying this content and like what we're doing, it's getting interesting, I'm gonna make a little sad. You know what to do, click that subscribe button. Click on all the notifications, gives a huge thumbs up. And if you really, 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 really like this content, we have a GoFundMe page. If you'd like to uh, support and buy us a coffee, it would be nice. So feel free to head over to the GoFundMe page. All the people who donate will get special VIP treatment, which home is back in the water as it shows me who's donated so if you're one of the people who have you'll be coming out on her there's no one else will so there you go <laughs> yes that is one thing people who support this project support the channel will get the opportunity to go out here the members of the public went. So, if you like that, get on to that GoFundMe page and give what you can. Two ninety nine at Starbucks, I think. Isn't it? <laughs> Coffee. I think we're there in that day. Right. So, what I've we'll done, I've undone all the bolts all the way around. Now that is ready to go back outside. Um, so, yeah, so that's what we're doing. We're going to go back outside and. No camera. Now we've done that. Go back outside, uh, draw the shaft in to the boat, and I've got up for the grub screw, and then undo the grub screw. Wind that off, and then we can pull the shaft. Uh, cover sleeve out and then drop everything else off and then we are ready for putting wood on the boat.
It's moved. Yeah. A little bit more then. No more heat. Fucking thing. Hmm. <laughs> Why not? That's not that bad actually. Get strapped straight on it while it's hot. Strap on it, should come off then. Did you two rub the wire with brush again? No. Nope. Yes. So what we've done guys is use a ratchet strap and a crowbar to make a belt type of pulley to pull it off. And what we're going to do, we're going to spin this off then we can knock the shaft into the boat and take the flange off the stone land. I'm not going to risk it again, is she? <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, it should be it. That's it, that's it, that's it. Where's my seal? There she is, look. Just that round, 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 round. Can't see because your elbow's in the way. You see that? No, I can now. One good seal we can reuse. So right, now the collar's out, what we can do, we can uh, slide the shaft into the boat clean and... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll clean this up. Uh, huh? So uh, I'll go into the boat now. Hey, hey. So we're here at the flange. Um, we're going to get
Fence, what we need to do now is need to bring it out a bit more. <laughs> to find the glove screw. That's how I got it up before. Yeah, I told you. That's how I got it off, mate. Oh. Really, need to check it out as far as the good screw. Yeah, a bit further. Get that in first. Well, well, now we position. Re reposition. Yeah. Now what do we use? Put that spanner out. Yeah, put that behind it. Put that in And above me, where's the seal for the prop coming out, the outer case, I found all these screws. See them? They're all the way round. So now I've got, I think, about 50 screws. That's my next one. I'll set up the swap tripod, uh, reposition, and start getting these little babies out, I think. Hello, I'm back. All these screws, let's have a go. Clean them out first. I cleaned them all off, so I found them, I got them, they're all the way around. There's loads. Ash has already removed the big roads. You can see the holes. And then we found these babies. More screws.
I got it. Yes. Boom. Number three. So at long, oh. So at long last, at long last, we can go to our ending bit of the video. It'd be great, wouldn't it? And then, get mm. wood off the boat. Onto that one. Well, I hope you like that video of us getting all greasy and messy and rocky. That's the last of the heavy equipment off the boat. So now, our videos are of woodwork. We're going to be taking wood off the boat. We're going to be restoring wood on back onto the boat and making it heavier and good again. So stay tuned. This is going to get really exciting. We're literally, Mark is setting up the saw as we speak and we're going to be taking wood off the boat and hopefully today putting wood back on the boat. So it's all great news. If you like this content, don't forget, you know what to do by now. Click on that subscribe button, click on all the notifications, give us a huge thumbs up, it all helps our channel. See you later, y'all. Bye bye.